Recently, I was in my garden and I looked over at my newly planted persimmon tree and noticed that the entire top of the tree had toppled due to the twig girdler. Now, this is the second persimmon tree that's been hit for me, so I was very upset. This twig girdler is a beetle that's about a half inch to three quarters of an inch long. It's brown and has gray mottled, sort of yellow and white uh, modeling on the back. The characteristic that you'll notice most is that it has a very long antenna. It's part of the longhorn beetle family, uh, all of which are problematic. It um, particularly likes cedar elms and the persimmons in my yard, but it also affects the hackberry, pecan, mulberry, mesquite, red oaks, mimosas, red buds, and many of the fruit trees. After mating, the female beetle will cut a V-shaped groove in the branch, uh, usually a quarter inch to a half inch uh, branch, but they got a little bit bigger with my persimmon tree. And the notch that she uh, cuts through looks like a sharpened pencil side. And uh, so the, the female beetle will just uh, cut a groove all the way around the branch and leave these somewhat smooth sides uh, and then not, the, she doesn't chew all the way through the center. So the branch will break off and leave sort of a jagged center point. The beetle will lay usually three to eight, eight uh, eggs in each branch and then the wind causes that branch to fall. The leaves will still be on the branch typically as you can see here. These are uh, branches that have the uh, longhorn beetle, the twig girdler damage uh, signs, and the leaves are still attached. So the worms live in the branch. They never go out until they actually uh, emerge as adults, and they burrow through the wood, and uh, one female can lay 50 to 200 eggs in a season. So it's very important to pick up those twigs and burn them or bag them and put them in the trash to break the cycle. Don't compost them unless you have a really, really hot composting bin. Uh, pesticides are really not effective on them. If you see tr limbs that are hanging uh, with this damage and can prune them out of your tree, that's a good idea. Trees will often have misshapen limbs near the girdling damage and, and they'll develop forks and crooked stems. So you wanna trim them to uh, help redirect the growth when you've seen twig girdler damage happen in your garden. The worms won't develop in live wood, so that's why it's important for the female to actually trim the, the bark so that that limb dies. And uh, they just burrow through, then they pupate, in the, in the branch and then they'll emerge in the uh, late spring, uh, early summer of the following year as adults and repeat the process. So picking those branches up to help cut that population is gonna be your best bet. And you may even wanna encourage your neighbors to look for twig girdler damage as well so that you can reduce the population and get the guys under control. Uh, they, they really can be devastating to trees. I'll probably end up having to replace this persimmon tree because the damage was so low on the tree that I don't think I'm going to get enough branches to really develop a good shape on that persimmon tree again. So I am watching with an eagle eye to look for all, all the twig girdler, girdler damage on my lawn and pick those branches up. For Backyard Basics, I'm Trisha Shari. Thanks for watching.